Hi guys, it's your girl Megan Hisham. Today I am talking super simple, super easy, super just not much prep, lose weight meal plan. So there's not a lot of dairy, there's not a lot of sugar, there's not a lot of carby carbs, like starchy carbs. So we're gonna have mostly carbs are gonna come from vegetables and fruits. So we're gonna have a lot of veggies, a lot of fruits, a lot of protein. You know that's good for you. You know you're gonna get those results. I think a lot of people give me the excuse that I don't have time to make the food. Well, it's just as easy to, and even easier actually, to prepare these foods as it is to prepare any other foods. I don't recommend eating the same thing every day, not for the rest of your life, but for a certain amount of time so you get used to eating these foods, so you get used to the health and you get used to feeling good and seeing results. I know it might not be gourmet and like tasting like oh amazing, all the spices. Obviously you can do that. So once you get used to this plan, if you really feel like putting in the work and putting in a little extra effort in there, you can do that. This plan is kind of meant for people who say to me, well, what should I be eating all day? I want to get fit. I want to lose weight. I want to feel great. What should I be eating? A lot of people ask me that. What should I eat? And it's hard to kind of like, uh, I want to tell you a lot. I want to tell you like you should eat what you love that's healthy and you shouldn't have to eat exactly what I'm telling you now. But if you're confused and you're just like, there's so much information out there, I made this video kind of to be like, you could just follow this and you will get results for sure. Now you might not like some of the foods, so stay open-minded, okay? A lot of people will tell me, well, I don't like that food. Can I eat something else? Obviously, yes, you could eat something else, right? Instead of chicken, you can have beef. Instead of an egg, you could have cottage cheese. <laughs> it's fine, there's a lot of substitutes, but I'm not gonna be getting into all those substitutes in this video. Right now, I'm just gonna go over a whole day of what you should eat to get fit, lose weight fast, feel amazing, get yourself into that healthy momentum kind of, okay? So once you do this for a month, two months, and you start seeing results and all that, you can start playing around. You can be like, hey, I'd rather have this rather than that. And you'll figure out substitutions. I want you to learn as you go. I don't wanna just be like, oh, Megan said I had to eat this, so I'll eat this, and that's that. No, Megan said I had to eat this, so I'm gonna try it for a month two months, whatever it is, till I see some awesome results. And then you can play around. You're gonna be learning as you go. What's the same as an egg? How much protein is in an egg? What's the same as eating broccoli? You know, and then you can start swapping things out, adding some spices, adding some flavors that you might want, starting cooking some of these things. There's not a lot of cooking on this, okay? So a lot of it is just grab and go. Hard boiled egg and an apple. Yes, you need to cook that hard boiled egg. I'm sorry, there will be a little bit of work. If you want amazing results and you wanna feel amazing about what you're doing, you are gonna have to put in a little bit of work, okay? But this is the least work. I'm trying to make it simple for you guys, okay? A lot of people tell me, I don't cook. I don't know how to cook. Or I don't know how to cook healthy foods. I can only cook like my old time favorites like mac and cheese. I get you guys, I get it. And you will want to learn to cook healthy at some point, probably, if the rest of your life you're gonna be eating healthy and feeling great and looking amazing, you will wanna learn some of those skills, okay? And I will make more videos about that type of stuff because I have learned and I'm still learning to cook healthy foods. So I'm gonna go over the super simple day to lose weight, feel great, get fit, all right, number one. Here's my very official looking plan here for you guys. <laughs> and I'm recommending having four small meals through the day. I'm not sure how many male watchers I have out there, but if you're a man, you're gonna need more food, more protein, more, 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 little more, but still all these clean foods, okay? Don't add anything different in there. Number one, hard boiled egg and apple. This is something you can just grab. These would have to be hard boiled, obviously. You could fry it. I'm not gonna get into all the details of you could do this or you could do that. 
I'll point out a few, but I just want to keep it simple. It does get confusing when people start saying, oh, you could do this or you could do that or you could eat this or you could eat that. I'm going to be straight to the point. Hard boiled egg and an apple. A hard boiled seven eggs, man. And just eat them every day. That's what I do, okay? So hard boiled egg, very easy, quick. You can just take it on the run. Everyone tells me I'm in a rush in the morning. I miss breakfast because I'm in a rush. Hard boiled egg and an apple. Can't go wrong. You're in the car, you're eating it. You're at home with your kids, you're eating it. Get that in, first thing. Hard boiled egg and apple. Meal two. Lean ground beef or turkey and veggies. That is the hardest meal and it's easy. Basically all I want you to do, cook up some lean ground beef or turkey or chicken. You're gonna cook it up in the frying pan with some Pam or olive oil, whatever. Not too worried about details. Just don't use a bunch of oil. You can add garlic, you can add salt, you can add pepper, you can add a few spices, whatever you're feeling. Anything that's kind of like no calorie is fine. Onions, vegetables, fry it up and have that ready for a few days. Portion it out. You're gonna have half a cup for women, one cup for men. So half a cup, once it's cooked, of the lean ground turkey or beef. It could be in burger form. You could make lean ground beef burgers no bun with some veggies or it can just be lean ground beef like just how it is and you're going to put veggies with it now a lot of people say oh i gotta cook all these veggies you don't want to cook a bunch of veggies of course you can go crazy cooking a bunch of veggies if you don't here you go you pierce the hole in this you put it in the microwave for three minutes and you've got instant veggies this comes in broccoli it comes in cauliflower carrots green peas lots of varieties i use these all the time yes yeah, so cooking things in plastic probably a bad idea you know what i don't sweat the small stuff okay so pierce that bag put it in the microwave this is good for a few days of your greens with your meat okay so lean ground beef or turkey and veggies obviously this is not a vegetarian or vegan plan i'll maybe do one of those on another video okay so right now lean ground beef and veggies meal three i have chicken and veggies cook up some chicken breasts buy a barbecue chicken i'm not sweating the details okay so don't worry people oh is that is that not healthy enough buy a barbecue chicken you know one of those big barbecue chickens you can get at grocery stores already cooked and that should last you a lot of the week you and your family you could just pull pieces off have that it's not the best but it's better than no meat at all in this meal deli meat could have a little pack of this this package is 90 calories and eight grams of protein so in a pinch, you could have that. I'm not gonna give you too many options. About four ounces of lean protein, which I'm recommending chicken for this meal, a chicken breast basically, and veggies. You can either have a salad or just cut up some peppers, cut up some cucumbers, just have them ready in a Tupperware. Grab a few veggies as you go. You don't have to sit down and have a big like, oh my God, another meal. I eat this just walking by, you know? Oh, there's some veggies. I'm gonna put them in my mouth. There's my, my chicken breast. Here I go. I just pop it in. Can you have dressing with it? Sure, you can have a little bit of dressing, but don't douse it in a ton of dressing. I'm talking like one tablespoon. I have a terrific video on how to make an amazing dressing that won't screw you up. Last meal of the day, gave you a fun one, Greek yogurt. I love Greek yogurt. It's kind of like a treat at the end of the day, but it's super healthy and super good for you if you're okay with dairy. A lot of people ask me what percentage of fat you should get. This is 0%. Sometimes I have 9%. Really, I'm all over the place. It's not that big a deal. You're not gonna have the whole container, okay? <laughs> You're gonna have one cup. So one cup, it's like a small bowl of yogurt and a few nuts maybe, or a tablespoon of peanut butter in there and honey. That's awesome. Just don't have like 10 tablespoons of peanut butter. That's my problem. So that's your little treat at the end of the day. I like to have something kind of fun at the end of the day. Meal one, as soon as you get up, hard boiled egg and apple, easy. Meal two, lean ground beef and veggies. Next meal, chicken, deli meat, whatever, prepared chicken, you cooked it, you bought it, you grilled it, I don't care, 
about a chicken breast about that size and veggies, either a salad, more of these, or cut up, cut up different veggies. And then last meal of the day, one cup Greek yogurt, few nuts, a little bit of peanut butter, a little bit of healthy fats in there, that's good. And let's leave it at that. No, can I have this instead of this? I don't like this. Just try this plan, try it out. It might be a little tough and do it, do it consistently. Don't do it one day and then do something random another day. You know what, try it for a while, commit to this and do it and know that you're not gonna eat only these foods the rest of your life. I just want you to try it out. If you're not on a healthy plan right now and you're confused, a lot of people are confused. What do I, is there some magical thing? What do I do? Should I eat that? Is a granola bar a good idea? Should I have protein shakes? I mean, all these things are valid questions. I'll often say, oh, I have this for dinner or this for breakfast and people are like, oh, is that what's gonna make me fit? No, it's not just that. It's eating healthy throughout the day. So I want you to try this, try this simple plan. This is for all you viewers who have told me, oh, I don't have time. I don't know how to cook healthy. I have kids and I'm so busy. And you know what? There's another thing. A lot of people tell me, I have kids. I can't eat healthy. But why aren't your kids eating that healthy food with you? You can both be eating this. This is fine for everyone. You can make it fun. You could add a little sauce, add a little extra for the kids, a few pieces of cheese, some extra sauce in the meat, or give them a bun for their burger. You know, they can have the extra things, but have those healthy staples with you. I mean, eat that healthy food together. I have two kids. I know, I know it's hard, it is tough but you can do this together and it will be super fun and easier for you if you're all eating basically the same things. So having kids help you Hi out there. in the kitchen can really help them want to eat those healthy meals you're making. All right, that's good, this is done. So there you go, five to 10 minutes, you're done your eggs and your meat. And that's all the cooking can you really need to do. Too? Yeah, and I will do a follow-up video of more ideas. I just wanted to keep this pretty streamlined and simple so it wasn't like, oh my God, she just gave me all these options now. I don't know what to do. Obviously, there are tons of other options, but let's keep it at this, try it, let me know how it goes. If you start this plan, you are gonna see results immediately, within a few days, I believe. So make sure you're eating every three hours or so. I wouldn't let three or four hours go by without having a meal. Keep that metabolism revving. Make sure you don't skip meals and feel hungry and then binge. And if that happens, just pick yourself back up and get back on. Don't be like, oh, well, I screwed up. Now it's over. No, right? We've talked about that here. All right, pick yourself back up and get right back on. Talk soon, guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and let me know what you thought of this video. Bye.